Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamara, T to the Y to the M to the A R A. Alright, so today we're going to see what's going on in your energy. We're going to see what message the Spirit has for the Sagittarius Collective. Remember, this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, please check out beingsmart.com at the link in the description box. Okay, let's see. Spirit, what is going on with Sagittarius and their spirituality, their spiritual faith? What's going on? Okay, we have the tower in the reverse. When it comes to your spirituality and your faith and just believing in the higher source or higher power, it seems like you have been slowly embracing, embracing this transition of learning about spirituality. You have learned to search for wisdom. You have done a lot of introspection. You went within with the hermit mode coming out. I feel like and this is where you found your wisdom. You found yourself. It seemed like for the longest time you were de delaying the inevitable of believing that, that something else was out there. That it was something more. And now you're just fully embracing it. I feel like you're a very intuitive, very spiritual person. You are no longer stressed out. You no longer, I feel like you're no longer stressed out or dealing with a lot of tension or turbulence because of your faith. I feel like sometimes you may feel like you receive mixed signals when it comes to believing. Because one minute with spirituality, if you believe in something, there's sometimes you're questioning, like, why am I, why is this going on if I'm so committed and I believe in my faith or I believe in this higher power? And then another moment, it's like, oh, now I understand why God put me through this situation. Now I understand why I went through this in the first place. So sometimes you receive mixed emotions when it comes to your spirituality. But all, overall, I feel like you're a very spiritual individual. I feel like it took a long time for you to receive clarity or understanding of why certain situations played out the way that they did. There seems to be a lot of time where you, like, because of your spiritual beliefs, you spend a lot of time alone and in isolation because that's your way to connect with higher power. But now, once you went into the hermit mode and you went into seclusion and connected with spirit, now you're in this energy now where you're ready to revisit and join the world again. You're no longer feeling like you need to be isolated or feeling like you got left behind. You have a lot of faith and you're very confident. You trust in spirit. Overall, your energy, when it comes to your spirituality, you trust in spirit. You trust that they have your back. You trust that they want to support you. You know they are. you're very confident in your spiritual beliefs. You feel like you can rely on them when it comes to something. You know if you want something, you just want to pray, pray about it. And you leave it up to God. I feel like at this moment, you give all your power and strength to God. You're very, you feel like they have the authority that if you want anything or ask for it, you can have it. You see a lot of empowerment, like spirit and God or whoever you believe in, they empower you. They support you. It's a lot of authority from you. You get your strength from God. You realize that because of God, you are no longer dealing with a lot of stress. You are no longer feeling like you're so tense or angry or you learn that you can overcome a lot of things because of your spiritual beliefs. Excuse me. Okay, Spirit, what's going on with Sagittarius' home life? What's going on with their home life? You have the Death card, the Two of Pentacles, and the Moon in the reverse. Okay, when it comes to your home life, there seems to be this energy here where you're in this energy of walking towards the light. You feel like you're coming, to, you're letting, with the death card coming out here, it's like 
y'all letting go and transitioning. Y'all transitioning out of this energy of feeling like y'all just too imbalanced and y'all dealing with a lot of burdens, too overwhelmed with responsibilities when it comes to your home life, trying to balance work and your family life, wondering like, am I sacrificing too much? Am I doing too little? Am I able to provide for my family? It seemed like you was constantly in the struggle between transitioning into this new life versus holding on to confusion, misunderstandings, anxiety. Like there was this strong battle. And you see, the moon in reverse speaks of the shadow side. That's fear, that's anxiety, that's confusion. In your home life, like, there was a strong struggle between transitioning and letting this energy go and holding on to this energy. At home, you could have felt like you was just spread too, too thin. You was just overwhelmed with life. This could have affected your intimacy when it comes to your significant other, your partner. There are plenty of times where you felt like you wanted to just run and disappear, but you're releasing this energy. You no longer want to run away from home. You no longer are afraid of intimacy when it comes to your partner. You're no longer afraid of bonding with your family members because you felt like you was overwhelmed. You could have had a lot of home life responsibility and you just let yourself go. You wasn't too focused on your beauty or there was this energy where... Because you're overwhelmed and stressed with life or the job became too much, you was kind of stressed out and you wasn't as kind to your family members or they wasn't as kind to you. I just feel like your whole home life, whether your energy or somebody in your household, everybody was just overwhelmed with life and all the burdens from day to day basis. And then I feel like y'all just in this energy of releasing all of this because everything came out in the reverse. You're no longer feeling like you want to disappear or run away from your responsibilities because you're overwhelmed. You no longer feel like you can't bond with your family members. What else, spirit? Y'all are in this strong energy of like learning to apologize when somebody's wrong about a situation learning to say i'm sorry and forgive each other and just love on each other there was a time where you felt like your household was falling apart just from day-to-day -day basis dealing with sickness dealing with money dealing with responsibilities having to pay bills having to go grocery shopping just day-to-day -day responsibilities now it's like Y'all are no longer in this energy. With the death card coming out in the upright, y'all are releasing all of this toxicity, all of this darkness, and y'all walking as a unit to the light. Y'all going to the light. That speaks of transition coming in. It's no longer a struggle for you. Give me more on this home life for Sagittarius. Y'all are operating out of love, showing affection and devotion to each other. Y'all adoring each other. Uh, I feel like you and your family, uh, the competition came out in the reverse, which means nobody feel like, there's no energy here where anybody feel like they're clashing anymore. Y'all could also be into the supernatural or the hidden truth, or y'all have a lot of sacred knowledge. Maybe your family is of spirituality, like strongly into the occult study, and occult means study and hidden knowledge. You and your family could strongly be supporting each other, loving on each other. Y'all are into studying sacred knowledge. So I feel like you're building on traditions together. You're making your family unit stronger and just operating out of love. I see this strong bond coming in. It seemed like so many things could have been hidden beneath the surface and y'all learned to reveal these hidden shadows with the moon coming out in reverse. Y'all learned to reveal these hidden shadows and communicate about what was hidden underneath the surf. Dad, I feel like I'm being neglected. Mom, I feel like you don't care. Uh, So-and-so isn't spending enough time with the kids. Whatever it is, I feel like y'all handled family business. Y'all spoke about these situations, y'all addressed it, and now y'all operating out of love and showing affection and devotion to one another. So your family is on the up and up. I feel like y'all are continuing to grow together as one unit. Okay, let's see what's going on with your career and your money. Spirit, what's going on with Sagittarius' career and their money? We had a page of wands in reverse. Followed by the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles and the Upright. Okay, when it comes to your finances and your money, 
there seemed to be this energy here where you feel like something could be disorganized. You are putting in all the work behind the scenes with the Eight of Pentacles. You're constantly busting your tail, working on something. But something in your finances seem unorganized. Either the taxes aren't paid or you need in a budget or something because we came out here with the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles f speaks of somebody feeling like they're struggling or feeling a little bit, in feeling a little bit unstable when it comes to the finances. Like, you're earning the money. You busting your tail with the Eight of Pentacles, but you went from the Eight to the Five. So, it's like, the money is coming to you. You're being blessed with the money, but it's slipping right through your fingertips. And this is due to somebody not being properly organized with their finances. I feel like there needs to be a budget set in place. Or there needs to be something where we account for every penny, even a miscellaneous spending, because it could be a lot of spending, just reckless spending going on, or some debt, or running up some credit cards, or student loans, or something going on here. Spirit, what else is going on with the finances and the career? Because it seems like you have a good job, or you're doing something that you enjoy. You're very committed to whatever it is you're working on. But there's something missing when it comes to the money. Okay. See, it's several different things out here. So for some of my Sagittarius, either you made a bad investment. This could be going to college and not using a degree and then you have um, student loan debt. Or there's this energy here where you could just be dealing with financial challenges. Or you're just in this energy where you just need to be concentrating on saving money. The career you could work in could be office work or night shift or Somebody could be dealing with possibly dealing with financial struggles. Maybe money was coming in for you, but you're having a financial struggle now because you possibly lost your job because it's a job ending. So somebody could have got laid off, a contract came to an end, or somebody had to leave a job for some type of reason, medical reason or something. So this could be a reason why something is going on with your money and you're having financial troubles right now with the Five of Pentacles coming out here. With the Eight of Pentacles coming out, Spirit is saying you need to have you need to have some type of have a long term game plan when it comes to your money because the money is coming in with the Eight of Pentacles. It's here, but it's turning into the Five. So Spirit is telling you you need to find some type of strategy with your money. That's why the first thing that came out when I was thinking was, hey, somebody needs to budget. It's fair to say, make sure when you're spending, it needs to be wild spending. Be careful with your money, especially this year. Make sure your money is going into the proper places or hold on to what you can hold on to. And also plan for a long-term gain. Don't just spend sporadically because you feel like, hey, I need a candy bar or a bag of chips or something, or you saw something at the end cap. Make sure you are planning. Have a list when you go to the store. This is going on with the finances. Uh, you could work in the military. Your career could be in the military or you could be ex-military. The energy surrounding you is one of a leader. And right now, that's the time to think it through when it comes to your career or come to your finances. And lastly, we had award. Once again, with the page of wands coming out in reverse, this piece of like being disorganized, not knowing which way you're going or what you're doing with something. Somebody could have potentially won some money, but they was disorganized when it came to the money. And that's why money got splurged in all different types of directions. And now we're having these financial challenges. Make sure you are paying off debt. You could have the energy of being recognized for something. Money could be coming in from something, lottery, whatever. You could be getting recognized for something. Even posting on social media is a time where a person can be recognized for their efforts and you can receive money for that. You could have recently received an advancement or you could be doing something and working in a professional field or you could have fame coming in. You have the energy surrounding you of fame. So you are one to be famous, but make sure you're managing your finances because there are stories out there where somebody done won the lottery and the lottery chance they like, but then they they won a million dollars and spent a million dollars. What you want to do is 
make sure you're budgeting. Spend some, save some, budget some, invest some. Make sure you um are paying attention to that. Let's see, what else for the finances and the career spirit? Yeah, there's a lot of regret here. There's regret or just disappointment with finances or either the career field that somebody works in. And you are just simply needing some type of direction or guidance or, advance, or advice. Maybe you need to watch some YouTube videos on how to properly budget your money at this time. If this part resonates with you, watch some YouTube money. I mean, oh Lord, watch some YouTube money. <laughs> watch some YouTube videos on how to budget, where to invest your money, where to invest your time of having or even just having multiple streams of income if one career path is not bringing in enough need then find another way to invest your money into real estate turn in liabilities into assets that's what the focus need to be if this applies to you and your financial situation just simply find some, find somebody that can mentor you or assist you and say hey i have this amount of money saved to the side where should where do you think i should invest my money at this point or hey i need some more money so where do you think i can work or can you put a a little bird, a little bug in somebody, somebody's ear and speak on my behalf so I can get additional money or just speak to somebody. Ask somebody for some advice. Okay. Spirit, what is going on with Sagittarius social life? What's going on with Sagittarius social life? You have the four of swords in reverse. The nine of swords, we don't want to the four to the nine, and then the six of wands. Overall, when it came to your social life, you felt like you was just burnt down and exhausted mentally with dealing with people. Like just overall, either you could have been pulled in different directions. This person wants you to go here, this person wants you to go there. You had a hard time trying to juggle or balance these relationships. It seemed like dealing with relationships or people as far as your social life was just mentally exhausting. Sometimes hanging out with people, you felt very stagnant, like you wasn't growing with these relationships. Like this could have been relationships that you had for a long time, but you felt like y'all got to a point where the relationship wasn't going anywhere. So it's like, what are we doing here? What's going on here? <laughs> and also, dealing with... <laughs> As far as your social life, whether this is in a relationship or whatever, it's not like there were a lot of clashing and differences. Because I'm getting the energy of somebody sitting up worrying or having anxiety or guilt or shame in reference to something. It's not like relationships for you is just mentally exhausting. There was a lot of clashing, a lot of differences, a lot of incompatibility when it comes to either your dating life or your friendships. But now overall... You're overcoming this energy. You're walking into success. You walked into this energy of like running away from toxicity. As you see, this person is running. They're running away from toxicity. They're in their pursuit of like relationships that are or a social life that's going to be beneficial. I feel like you're in a pursuit of a social life that's going to be beneficial towards you. And you're being very resilient. You're not going to let that hold you back. You're going to... Find people who support you. Six of Wands. This is like you finding people. You're taking action steps to find people that's going to support you for who you are. This is success. Triumph. What else, Spirit? You could be needing my uh, the, a long journey. Exhaustion again. What's going on here? You could be meeting a divine masculine or just finding, if it's not a masculine, somebody that has a lot of masculine energy, whether male or female. I feel like you're just trying to find somebody that match your energy, but it's kind of exhausting and depleted. Whether this is in a dating relationship or just friendship in general, dealing with people and trying to go out and meet people and mingle is just exhausting. It depletes your energy. You're probably the type of person that likes to go into isolation so you can replenish yourself. 
And every time you're dealing with individuals, whether they have something going on or you have something going on, it's mentally exhausting. If somebody wants to talk to you, uh, lay their burdens on you, vent to you, or you're having to support that person, buy this gift, do this thing, go out to this event, sort of support to it seems like your relationships deplete you. And sometimes y'all have conflict or sometimes y'all clash because you cannot always be there for people. People look, you have the six of wands, which means people look at you as a good friend, a person they have in their corner. But somehow you feel like it stresses you out. You're tired when you go home at night. Like sometimes you're like, oh, I have to deal with so and so. I feel tired just reading this. One more on the social life. Social life. Coming clean. Unfailing. Confession. Yeah, you just overall feel like relationships is just too draining for you. Sometimes you rather just be alone or in your own environment, in your own space. It's a lot. It's really a lot. So overall, what's the overall well-being of Sagittarius? What's their general progress? What's the overall well-being? You are just determined. With the cherry and the upright, you're determined to change your mindset so you can have new results. You're in determined to... Move on with your life to change the trajectory of your life to make sure that you are improving your life and doing something different with the chariot coming out in the upright. You're just focused on your own, your own world, your own self. You're no longer holding on to the energy of somebody feeling like that somebody stabbed you in the back. You're releasing this energy. You're no longer holding on to this energy. Feeling like the world is against you or just feeling complacent in life or just hanging on to the past. You want to release the past. You're releasing the past. You're not holding on to any judgment. I mean, any bitterness or grudges towards anybody. And you just want to move on with your life. I feel like you're just in this energy. The past is the past. I can't do nothing about it. I can't change it. And I want to move on. Nine of cups in the reverse. I feel like in the past you dealt with a lot of a lot of disappointments, and you was disheartened about how certain situations turned out for you emotionally, mentally, and emotionally. We got the Ace of Swords in the upright. Mentally and emotionally, I feel like last year was very draining for you. You dealt with so many different challenges, but at this time, you're choosing to have grit and to overcome with the chariot you're just so determined and focused to overcome to have a new lease on life especially with the ace of swords coming out this lets me know you're having a new mindset a new perspective of how you choose to see the world and it's all because of your belief system because of your mindset you're just choosing to not stay a victim of your circumstances or to not be a victim of the past to not hold on to anything but to release it that's your overall energy and what's going on with you Give me a moon card for Sagittarius. You have the four pals. This speaks of your roots. You are planting roots. At this moment, I feel like you're focusing on your family life, your home life. You could be changing your background. I feel like whatever it is that you want to do or whoever it is you want to be, you're focusing on that. You're showing up as that individual. You want to make sure that you are living a comfortable life. We're focusing on the energy in the four piles. You could be learning new recipes, learning to cook or changing your diet or eating from home more. You're just in this space where you're focusing on your inner world and how you can improve and work on your own inner world. You could be doing something with real estate because the four the Fourth house also focuses on real estate. So this speaks of like moving, purchasing a new house, changing the decorations in your house or revamping your house, changing the flips, feng shui, the energy of your house. 
You're also focusing on your self-care. This could be pampering yourself, getting massages, getting haircuts, just worrying about your self-care. How can you better yourself? You could be going to the gym. You could be changing your diet at this time. You're just in this energy of creating better habits for yourself, new habits for yourself, rejuvenating your life, and overall just focusing on yourself. All right, that's all I have for you at this time. If anything resonated, leave me a message. Also, don't forget to thumbs up the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.